Hello, thank you very much. Thank you for joining us. Happy Thanksgiving. Today we're going to talk about some of the YouTube products or products owned by YouTubers. Uh, this is the economics of brand new YouTube. I was actually listening to, uh, you know, Jamal Fali and uh, in the Lex Friedman show, and he was talking about that. The, the first generation of uh, platform creation was done by uh, Apple, Google, and Microsoft, all these guys that had the control of the operating system, the device, they control the device, they control all the apps on it. Uh, so they gained the billions of traction and gained their wealth. The second generation, um, I think, was the apps on top of them, but the community apps, the social apps, the apps that everybody uses, like Facebook, uh, you know, TikTok, and Twitter, and all these, uh, WeChat, Tencent, QQ, those kind of apps that have billions of users and created a massive community. Now, what he's saying, he's a venture capitalist, in his perspective, the next wave of platform creation would be very personalized and would depend on uh, uh, these social media stars, the YouTubers, and you know, they're in different, different platforms and they have their own fan base, they have their own creation, they have their own products, they have their own merch, they have their whole new thing. But I think that space, so that space he thinks would be the next big thing, you know, it would, uh, the content creators, the creator economy would, uh, would, would get bigger and bigger and bigger. I think that's definitely very true. That's uh, for sure that, you know, that uh, that's going to happen. But the other thing with the content create, creator economy, I think it would get too many things would come out of too many products, too many people will come out of too many products, too many channels promoting too many things. So that might get overwhelming. But the ones that are on top, like Mr. Beast and, you know, Logan Paul or Kyle or Liver King or these guys, you know, the top will succeed if the product is good and, you know, if the product uh, is good. So now, one thing I did realize back in the days, you know, I used to watch, uh, you know, whether it's YouTube or any of the social media, and uh, the the celebrities used to be not social media, but the TV from the celebrities used to present. Uh, you know, they were the promoter of the product, whether it's Pepsi or Coca Cola or Gatorade, whatever. You know, the athletes, the celebrities. Then it started to go to the influencers, right? The social media folks, the YouTubers, the uh, the whole. Uh, uh, new generation of young folks that they have their own community and they were promoting other people's stuff. Recently, after the pandemic, I, I started to see, uh, you know, these influencers, instead of promoting other people's products, they are creating their own products. So they are the owners, the whole manufacturers, the marketers, they have the full thing. And, uh, you know, and they want to promote their own products and sell it to their fans. And uh, especially this year, uh, I think Mr. Beast uh, kind of accelerated the trend. Uh, you know, he's the top YouTuber. So, for him, he uh, did the Feastables, uh, Feast Like the Beast. <laughs> I was like, why is it called Feastables? I, I never realized. I, I knew it kind of rhymes with Beast, but I was, I, I would like it if it says Beastables. You know, that, that would have been better for me. But but this is, uh, you know, now, now I see videos where he's giving away cars and things for his cookies and all that stuff. So today, my goal for Thanksgiving, before I get, get you bored into the economics of things, uh, <laughs> my goal is to taste some of the influencer uh, slash YouTubers, slash uh, these young celebrities, some of their products. I'll taste them first time, uh, uh, and, and, and uh, then I will see how, how they taste so that uh, we'll, we'll see. The first product is the Beast Cookies, Feastables, Mr. Beast Cookie, chocolate chip cookie. I love chocolate chip cookies, so this is definitely something I'm going to love. Uh, chocolate chip cookies. All right, let's, let's see if we can open this up. Okay, so let's, let's get to the first one. Man, this is surprisingly good. This is actually very good. I love these cookies. This is very good. Mr. Beast, chocolate chip cookies, the Feastables, A+. Plus. Absolutely great. Okay, what's next? Logan Paul. They got the Prime. Logan Paul and KSI. They started the Gatorade Killer, the Gatorade Killer, the Prime Hydration. Uh, let's see, it's pretty good. Low calories. My hands are sweaty. Oh, okay, let's try that. This is Tropical Punch. Not bad. Yeah, I like it. This is great. All right, so now we're trying the blue raspberry. All right, let's see that. Not bad. I like the tropical punch better. So the red one, A. This one is A minus. 
Let's see how about lem <coughs> lemon lime. It's very good. It's very good. I'll give this one A plus. That's a Logan Paul and KSI. This is interesting. I, I never understood that. Why he did it with KSI? Why not the Paul brothers together? I think uh, so. He he was fighting KSI, the boxing matches and all this stuff, and he moved out to Floyd Mayweather. So then they together did the Prime. I think Prime will do very well. It's pretty good. I like it. So because at least when I'm drinking Prime, it's a conversation starter. People would be like, okay, what's uh, Prime? You know, then you can talk about some Logan Paul, KSI, things like that. I think for young people, that's a conversation starter. But Gatorade, owned by Pepsi, I, I don't know. I, I haven't seen their recent ad or anything. So I don't, I don't know who to talk about. The president of Pepsi Cola, that I don't really know. I, I used to know Indra Nuri back in the days, uh, Nuri uh, the, for Pepsi Cola, but she was the president. I think she stepped down. Uh, I don't know the new CEO. But at least with Prime, I know it's uh, Logan. Whoa, wow. Look at Logan. Uh, the WWE. And his impulsive podcast and all these things going on. Okay, so that's our prime review. Now we're going to review the Kyle's Happy Dad, the hard seltzer. Uh, let's see. So Happy Dad, uh, this is, I think Kyle started that last year in 2021. And uh, this year they're picking up pretty, uh, they're, they're doing pretty good. Because the other kind of competition they got in the market is White Claw and a couple of those other guys. But uh, I think Bud Boyd has one. But I think they have a good name. They have, uh, this is the Pineapple. Gluten-free, wow, electrolytes, very nice. So the Full Send podcast, Full Send Kyle and um, the Shahidi brothers, Sam Shahidi and uh, John Shahidi. Then they got a bunch of uh, a lot of other cast members in the Full Send podcast with the Bradley Martin in there. So yeah, this is one thing I do want to know, who owns what percent of Happy Dad? That's, uh, that's, that's I have a question for, I, I want to know how much Kyle owns of Happy Dad. Is he, is he the 20%, 30%, 40%, whatever the number is, because he's the main promoter. So that's that's my question. I want to know from Kyle. Hopefully he comes on the show and then I can ask him. But let me try it out. Okay, that's pretty good. All right. Wow. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I think I think they should open their own beer. Direct alcohol instead of seltzer. But but this is good. This I'll give it a. A. And last but not the least, man, the Liver King, the, the god of marketing. Man, he, he is he is an absolute legend in the world of marketing. He came out of nowhere and he took over like a king. You know, he knows how to create a buzz. He knows how to answer a question that would go viral. He knows how to look viral. He knows, the, you know, the whole bodybuilding, the working out twice and this uh, simulated hunt. <laughs> it is an insane thing he comes up with. Uh, but you know he's very good at uh, uh, at all that. We need to we need to eat uh, the raw liver and all those things. Uh, but we we don't have the arrangement here for today. So today we're just gonna eat one of his uh, Liver King bar, chocolate bar or something. Uh, I don't know this chocolate. But let's try it out. So Liver King bar. All right. Okay. Let's see how it is. More like a cake. Not bad, actually. Wow, I'm giving everybody A. People will be like, wow, he's very biased. They're pretty amazed they came up with all these stuff. Wow, that's pretty good. Liver King Bar. I don't know whether it's very popular, but uh, this is pretty good, actually. So that's my review of these uh, products owned by YouTubers directly. I do want to know who are the investors for some of these products. Is Mr. Beast the 100% owner of the Feastables brand, or does he have venture capital firms, or does he have other owners in there? You know, Logan Paul, KSI, does Jake Paul own any stake in the prime hydration business, the happy dad? So I want to know these things, but I, I think as they get bigger and bigger, we'll get to know more things. And also my favorite is, uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson Zoa. I love it. This this one is absolutely A++. Absolutely. This one is fantastic. I love it. So that's um, that's the review. And so uh, hopefully Thanksgiving dinner. My goal is to uh, eat some of these stuff and drink some of these uh, some of these products. Actually, I should put it, put it on the table. Yeah, these are the ones we reviewed today. And all right. So that's... Uh, but I do think the economics is very scalable the products they should be able to 
take it to the next level because as their community grows, a lot of people right now are buying just to see how it tastes, to see what's going on. Just like me, I, I never tried any of these, and you know, these are not, you know, I'm a different generation than these these uh, YouTubers. But for me, I'm just trying to. I was like, okay, what is that? You know, curiosity. The first step, I think, everybody now it's curiosity purchase. After that, they'll be like, oh, you know, I tried that. Let me let me try that again. Uh, and as time go by, those would become household items, you know, and uh, there is a face behind it. The only thing that can derail if they do something crazy in their personal life and that news go viral or some kind of prank video that goes viral, things like that. But those risks are there, but I think uh, they have some mentors, Beast as a manager. And Beast himself is very, uh, very poised and, you know, very sincere. Uh, always thinking about business. Logan, you know, now have come down quite a bit, so he's very, he has the WWE folks. And then Kyle, you know, they are not, back in the days, the Nelk boys, I think now they have transitioned to full send, so now they're hanging out with Elon Musk. And, uh, and the Sam Shahidi and John Shahidi, you know, these guys are pro in the business. I think they're also advisors for Elon Musk. And, you know, of course, they were king. No wonder <laughs> is the king himself. So, yeah, I, I think we've got to come up with our own product. So I think uh, we, we're not ready yet for that. But uh, someday, someday we're going to come up with it. So today, these are the reviews. These are, um, so I love all of them. Fantastic. Uh, try them out. They're, none of them are sponsors or anything. I'm just trying out this review. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, please do subscribe.